You're off to a good start. Keep searching. You received his manifesto? No, I'm good. What? Do I have your attention? You seem distracted. Not distracted. His. Oh, his. The manifesto. That's what we're talking about. Had a chance to read it yet? Uh, some. It's controversial. Come again? Uh, it's good. It's controversial, though. Great ideas always are. You did well on your aptitude test. <laughs> the questions just made sense to me. Uh, what's the next step? There's a boat in Victoria Harbor. Boat called Clara's Overcoat. It'll leave sharply at 9 o'clock in the morning, your time, so be sure to be early. You don't want to get left behind. I'll be there. Then I'll see you next Wednesday. Oh, and Mr. Tiong. Uh, Edwin. My employer and I want to tell you how deeply sorry we are for your recent loss. In our country, accidents like the one that befell your family don't happen. Ever. Well done. What else?我真不敢相信你玩突变这么暴力的游戏你看到那些进完项目的清单了我真想和你知道怎么把它偷过来的不说了我希望你找到你要的东西然后快点回家我今天可能一天都待在家里空气质量指数又超过一百七十五了街上
，里面说你不这样做的话就是犯法。然后呢，这个表你填的不对，认真一点。艾迪文，你不了解这些人，你说话就像我妈。肺结核你怎么说？我三十十岁，得的是前腹飞进核，这病不会传染的。那么非典型性肺炎呢？你有症状，你有一次病得很重。我不会告诉这些害怕性剧的人我得过飞剑，谁会在意啊？那都是好几年前的事了。我现在好了，我不用每打个喷嚏或者喷着脚趾头要让这些人知道。乔治，你别那么夸张。Perfect. You've dug up enough dirt. Let's add some water and make mud. If mud slinging is an art form, then this. Is our canvas. This should look familiar. Select either the text or image box to begin. 离开这个讨厌的国家以后，我再也不会回来了。我真不敢相信你玩突变。我到底怎么做点什么呀？要不然就要飘走了。我不会告诉这些害怕性剧的人我得过飞剑，谁会在意啊？阿尚。It's controversial. A winning headline on your first attempt. Care to publish? Would you care to be credited for this scoop? Credit given where credit due. The credit goes to you. It'll be your name, Edwin Chung, curses while he's wasting away in a metamorphosis prison. Diseased prisoner Edwin Chung unleashes contagion. Says, who cares? I know who cares, and his name rhymes with overseer. Wasn't any easier the second time around. Every ugly detail, I feel. I feel sick to my stomach. <sighs> Your after-the-fact moral piety is tiresome. If you know a better way to kill a man without firing a shot, I'd love to hear it. Got my post secure. Repeat. 
transmission. I hope they can't see me here. Situation is clear. Parents often call to ban Twain's Adventures of Huckleberry Finn for its language, and rightly so. But they fall short of the real problem. Books like this preserve the memories of societal failures like black slavery, much as crystal amber preserves sick blood. Crack the amber and you invite biohazard contamination. Crack the book and your imagination for atrocity deepens. You can open this, can't you? This blueprint can be realized at the 3D printer in the archives near the library. A portable cassette player would come in handy if you have any audio cassettes you want to listen to.
You can always find a crime. That's their motto. That's their mantra. They tattoo it to the inside of their f***ing eyelids. You can always find a crime, and it's true. You can find almost anything if you look hard enough. But you know, the one thing you'll never find, no matter how long you search for it, is the end of a good conspiracy. Just when you think you've caught the beast by the tail, you round a corner and discover it just keeps going. It's never ending. It's all tail. And while you're gunning further and further down the rabbit hole, they're watching you. They're waiting for you to slip up, forget to rewind, run a red light, or play your T-Rex bootleg too loud after 10 p.m., which you only did because your ex-wife won't shut up about you not having a square job like all her friends' husbands with their starch white collars and their paisley ties. Carol! But my point is this. You think you're onto them. But they're onto you. You try to track them, follow them, find out their dirty little business. And that's just an open invitation for them to find out yours. <laughs> so what am I saying? What? What am I saying? Am I saying you shouldn't pay attention? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, be smart. When you tail a suspect, you don't follow too close. If the winds change, they smell you coming up behind them. I'm telling you, you gotta be smart if you wanna unravel a good conspiracy. So rule number one, don't ask questions. At least not out loud or to anyone that's alive. Rule number two, pretend you don't give a you see them dump a body in the marsh? Act like it's no big thing. And rule number three. Rule number three. Rules one and two. If you don't ask questions, you'll never learn the truth. And if you look the other way when bad happens, then just get away with it. Best thing you can do is to make a scene. Make a mess of things. Look like a screw-up. Once they've written you off as a joke, go be smart. You can't break a few eggs without making an omelet. Just don't let them know you learned how to cook. This is Zager, and I'm telling you, don't trust anyone, not even yourself.
Zager here. Gonna try a different format tonight. We're gonna. Hey! Hey! Everything looks good. Wholesale cyber auction commencing in three minutes. They won't find me in here. Mark 7.
Well done, both of you. Head to the door marked Control. I'm just putting the finishing touches on our first article now. Should have it up over the wire shortly. Equip this sleep mine like any weapon in the girl's inventory. Press the set button to place it where she's standing. When a Prizrak walks over it, it's lights out for the night. I'll be taking this. These nasty little mines, affectionately called sleepyheads, can really interrupt a Prizrak's patrol path. Something for the girl to keep in mind. I mean mind. Situation is clear. Nothing to report. This may come in handy. I'll hold on to this. No, sir. It's a Zegger cassette. He addresses the precals. What do you mean? The rant. Zegger, on the tape. He addresses Weep personally. Who the hell is Weep? I, I mean the 933W. Do you want to listen to it? It might be useful. Personally, I'd rather listen to Murray talk than hear whatever's on that tape. 
Yes, sir. Just bag it up. Smith didn't need any encouragement. He had it in his mind to escape this place, long before Zager first talked about revolution. Dear Headmaster, by the time you read this, I will have escaped. My mind is set on it. This place of yours is pure mathematical evil. You think that we're all ones and zeros, but we're not. And more of us every day are beginning to see through your lies about the outside. Once, you had me. I believed in you, in metamorphosis. When I was a child, I dreamed of joining the Prizrak. You should have let me. Now, it's too late. If you see 390H, tell her she has my heart. I'm coming back for it someday. Sincerely, 933W. Who is it? Who is it? Hope? Hello? Is anyone there? What the... Who left this? This is... This is not a manifesto. The... Propaganda machine is a well-oiled piece of hardware. Dissection rooms? What are you doing? Reading! His manifesto! <laughs> Lights out. Listen to me, Sullivan. I want you to reopen the case against 933W, the one who called himself Weep. And don't tell me again you got more important things to do. His little honeypot is wandering the halls as we speak. Catch the sparrow, and you'll coax the raven out of his nest. Provided the boy is still alive. I know it's ironic, but I have banned my fellow Prizrak from playing Tower Fall. In the free world, Tower Fall is the perfect recipe for a great party. In Metamorphosis, it's fodder for Derringer to crash your raucous party and send your guests home with permanent reprimands. If pure, unadulterated fun has a direct correlation to financial success, Matt Thorson will be richer than a Finnish free-to-play CEO. You and the girl have reached a part of the facility even I have never seen before. I've heard only whispered rumors and half-truths about what goes on up there. I even... Hang on. I'm being called away from my desk. I hope to return shortly. Be careful out there. Cooper out.
War troubles the heart and mind, Librarian. Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse-Five would use the trappings of time travel to torment both. We must care for those who have no business knowing about war's past. That this rings true for war's present goes without saying. Consider how the Japanese omit World War II atrocities from their textbooks. Consider Barack Obama's refusal to even acknowledge the culprits of the United States financial crisis. People don't care when you show them the truth. This is all the more reason to deprive them of it at the start.